Sometimes I use it as well, depending on whether I feel like it or not. You want Kane or Hoylund? Probably both. No, I, I mean, Kane is a fantastic player. If we sign him, he would probably deliver two, three amazing years for us. But I feel like with everything we got going on with um, Eric Ten Hag right now, I'd probably rather have Oiland for the for like more long term project. Also, I feel like Kane, even despite having only one year left on his contract, they're gonna still demand a hundred million pounds for him. So I'd rather pay sixty million pounds or fifty million pounds for another player that is talented. He might never be as good as Kane, but he could be. He could be good. And it could be developed into and molded into a player that Ten Hag wants. Eric Jamba Jamba, oof. Legend. Absolute legend. One once, are you feeling okay, Viper? Yeah, I'm feeling fine, Daniel. I'm allowed to play one once as well sometimes. To be fair, the only reason I'm playing one once is because the. Um, Rage Forest lobby wasn't really as high a level as I would have liked. Else you know where I would have been. Roskazan, yeah, I feel like I'm playing Alcatraz. Do you enjoy playing Arena? Nope. I mean, yes and no. I don't enjoy random Civ Arena. I enjoy drafted Severina. That makes sense to you. Random Severina has too many Civ wins. Drafted Arena also has Civ wins, but more fair. More fun. Stark and Mark is almost up. Yep. You got Gakpo for 35, that's the thing, it's so random, the price is all over the place, right? The day PSG signed Mbappe, uh, not Mbappe, Neymar, the whole market got like, exploded, price-wise. Suddenly that became the benchmark of a top two player in the world, kind of thing. My houses are horrible for poles. I'm a noob. Arena Alcatraz, Alcatraz, Alcatraz every day of the week. Random save Nile Delta. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I love me some Nile Delta. Our scouts and negotiators are something else. I mean, we don't know, right, what exactly is going on. There is obviously a lot of talk about how United always are paying over the price and over the top and this and that, but we don't know what's happening. Let's be real. We don't know what's, how the negotiations are. It's really hard to judge without actually having insight, right? I feel like they're getting a little bit of un undeserved shit potentially because we, we simply don't know and sometimes they make good decent deals happen right and it's like they don't get credit for that though they only get shit for the bad deals or in quotes bad deals or bad contracts do you think age has a role in a 2 performance pro scene like other esports age has a role in any esports or competitive setting but I don't think it's like, I don't think it is like people are pretending it to be, where it's like, oh, you're past 25, oh no, you're getting old, your reflexes are slowing down. I'm sure at some point, definitely your reflexes might take a hit as well. But I think for the most part, what you notice with age, or what you notice with age, is life responsibility and life, other things that take your attention in life, not that, oh, I'm getting older, I'm getting worse. It's not that simple. 
it's simply you get more responsibilities in life. Again, like think think 15, 20 years ago, there weren't many full-time esports players, right? Esports wasn't a long-term, oh, I can be an esports player until I'm 50, 60, right? So that also means that a lot of players quit in early 20s because they couldn't justify going on longer because they, there wasn't a career past like as their lives like once you were done competing in that game you didn't have any income sustainable income or anything like that then and on top of that you're depending on a game's success slash survival and that's also like your livelihood is depending on how successful and how long how much longevity there is to a video game you're playing that it's a bit risky right so you a lot of people, I feel, like couldn't justify investing their lives that heavily into video games back then. I think it's changed a bit now. There's a streaming market as well now. So a lot of players go on to become streamers. So you can definitely commit longer. And like for me, for me myself, I, I've definitely noticed I have more things going on in my life right now. Of course. But do I think I have simply gotten worse just because I'm now 31? Absolutely not. <coughs> so the answer to your question is both yes and no, I think. I think he's going scout. Yeah, he's going scouts. Since I'm Pulse, I'm going to open a bit defensively. Also, since he is walling up, I feel like me going out is too risky. <laughs> I'm good, Tommaso. How are you? How about you? Why wall like that if you're Pulse? Uh, I want to secure my woodline. I don't want to have too many angles to defend. So that's why. Rozkazania. Walled it. I mean, I should have walled there, probably. We can do that now as a secondary wall. Why not? Age is just a number, as he says, it coughs like an old man. <laughs> yes. Age is not a number. I'm sure once you get to a certain age, it definitely can have a negative impact on your performance. Don't get me wrong. Not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that for me personally right now, I do not think I'm performing worse just because I'm 31 and not 25 anymore, you know? Or 18 or 19. And I think the biggest impact age has on you is life responsibilities. Okay, now that we have pushed him away a little bit, I'm going to try to move out and be aggressive. Just need to not get caught off guard by scouts at home and we're Gucci. Of course he comes forward. Just when I decide to go forward. That is not, okay, he's actually look fortunately he's going back though. He's not trying to harass me. On my farms, for example. <laughs> Fine. Turn 30, I feel like I'm 60. See? Yeah, where can I fit a forward? I just do one. I do there, there. 
I will have one corner where it cannot fit. That's fine. One year second building. It's really hot summer in Italy, most unbearable. By the way, what do you think would be a good new defender safe to introduce a friend to AV2? Ranks, Britons, probably the go to's. I would say I'm gonna wait and not make more farms until I have heavy plow now. I think we can justify that. I think he will go cav archers. Double blacksmith? No, single. Stable blacksmith, Volvark. I only have one blacksmith. <clears throat> the answer it it depends, yes. The Bruin is not my favorite player now. Why would he be? Do poles have plus one attack against cow archers as well, or is it just archers? Foot archers? Question mark. Hunts but can lead to bad habits. Agreed. But I also think hunts is a great way to learn eco balance and it's a fun save to play because of how dynamic it is. And is it cow washers? Yep, it is. And I need a TC on stone. I need a bit plow. One wood, come on. I think I'll break in here in time. Yep. That's good. Then he has to defend in the opening. And in the meantime, I'm just adding economy. Yikes. Already so much damage. I could quick fall this one. If he's on the urge. He's not on the urge. Perfect start to the castle age. So much value, yep. Did I misplace a farmer? No. Prevails or what? Damn. Even got. Uh, even got the monk there. I think we need another TC even on the wood there. Oh, 
Does have a healthy amount of cav archers, but I think I'm fairly safe and can just go counterattack. As long as this TC goes up fast enough. Build a castle on the front here. Soon enough. Got it. Is it ballistics? No, but he has thumb ring. Don't think it's ballistics, but I think it's thumb ring. Yeah. Can tell the accuracy of those bad boys. Ooh, siege. Fight! Oh my god. I think just getting a cast up should be enough. Questions do I want to go Schlachta or not? Well, who's trapped with who? <laughs> yeah, so much damage. I can sacrifice my whole army to snipe his mangonels as long as he can't do damage there. sure what that was about. Yeah, GG. He's not getting enough damage. He's taking too much damage. Like, I have four full works up and working. Can drop a castle soon. Spam knights. Yeah, I think the light cap in particular won us the game right away. Also interesting, he went thumbring right away instead of uh, ballistics. The reason you can tell is because all the arrows hit the same spot. So they have 100% accuracy. Without thumbring, you don't have that. Isn't Monks insta GG for him? I had monks. Monks aren't good against couchers. <laughs> like the last remaining light cut even found a monk, which is insane value. 4 TC. Balls feels so smooth if you get to play like this untouched. In quotes. I think according to Spirit of the Law, thumb ring is more important than cav archers. It's very diff it, it it's very different depending on the situation. If you're always fighting and you can make sure you hit your enemy when he's standing still or chasing you, thumb ring will be better. Ballistics, generally speaking, has more value though because of all the arrows you hit while they're moving. But if there's like one against one, cow archer against cow archer, standing still, obviously thumb ring will be better.